Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to make broccoli cheddar soup. Doesn't that sound good? I mean, you may not like broccoli, but hey, you throw a bunch of cheddar cheese in there, what's not to love? We're going to start off by sauteing our onions and then in another minute we'll throw in the garlic. Now the recipe will be online. We actually have two recipes that I'm, I've been looking at. And one of them says to saute the onions and the, um, uh, the garlic. Uh, that recipe doesn't have as long a cook time on it. The other recipe is just throw it all in the pot. So... I think we're going to be posting the recipe that we you just throw it all in the pot. But um, we're going to go with some sautéing. I'm just not going to sauté it as long. And the one that you don't sauté um, calls for longer cooking time. So I don't think it matters. I think you're going to come out with some yummy soup. There's onions all broken up in there. Phew! <laughs> right up in my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to add in our garlic. burning my eyes. I must be doing something right. Okay. Now, I'm going to add our spices. We've got coarse kosher salt, uh, red pepper flakes, and pepper. And then we're going to add this this whole container of vegetable broth. And so we're going to add, it only calls for a cup of carrots. So I'm just going to do about half of this bag. And all this lovely broccoli. It's so good it's made me cry. Turn off the saute function. Make sure my ring is in here good. Close my lid. Shut my little um, valve here so that the pressure will build. And then I'm going to push pressure cook. Now, well, I didn't turn it off. There we go. Pressure cook. And it one recipe calls for like four minutes. And the other recipe calls for one minute. So I'm just going to split it in half. I'm going to do two minutes. Okay, we are good to go. And so it's going to take some time for the pressure to build. And then it's only going to cook for a couple minutes. So we'll see you back. Okay, so we are letting the pressure out of the Instant Pot. And we're going to turn it off and put 
put it on saute. It smells good. It doesn't even have cheese in it yet. that's in there appears to be done and I'm going to take some cornstarch mix it with water so it has to be cool water or cold water Stir it in. It's going to thicken our soup. just using um, milk. But I think the half and half is going to make it a little richer. I'm going to put this back on saute. I turned it off saute thinking maybe it would help the pressure to release a little quicker. But I've got it back on saute because we want this hot enough to melt our cheese. cups of cheese, so it'll be this whole bag. We were concerned that we didn't have enough liquid in here for all the vegetables, but I think it's going to be just right. smells good and it looks good. The thick creamy soup. It on low saute because we do not want it to get too oh no I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna put it on keep warm I forget about all these buttons that are on this thing but it has a keep warm setting This is my first time cooking this. And it's good. I'm not going to say it's great. I'm not going to say it's the best, chick uh, best broccoli soup I've ever had. But it is good. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. And I'm going to have lunch. Bye-bye.